Do you want us to count down? Five, four, three, two, one. Chestnut talked about building the foundation. Yeah. And they laid a real good foundation for us to build on. And thank God for some lawyer members who continue to work to get us to where we are today. Senator Sanders and Reverend Dawson stole my speech. <laughs> I think that story about the stones are familiar with him. <laughs> but this sign means so much to this community, and it means so much to us. And when the children come by, we can tell them what this means. And so we act now that this community can think of just come together and let us move forward. Martin King said, if you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But at least keep moving. Keep doing something. Don't continue to stay in the same place. So again, I want to thank Councilman Johnson for large donation. I don't care what anybody says. We don't shoot and kill in East Cell. We might have a little disagreement and disturbance. We might not have the fancy streets and the fancy lights, but this community has been a community that I've been proud of. That's another place that have had their problems. But when you look at it, there are some good people in East Selma, Alabama. And we thank God for the contribution that this church has given throughout this city and throughout this state. And as long as I'm here, we're going to continue to try to do the same to uplift mankind. God bless all of you. Thank all of you for coming. Thank all of you for making this possible. And we're looking in a few minutes to continue this day to have a grand time in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Can you just join hands as we come to the prayer and dedication? to where we are right now. We thank you, Lord, for our forefathers, those who came and toiled and moved on. We thank you, Lord, for them. We thank you for those, Heavenly Father, God, that are toiling now. We thank you for them. And God, we thank you for this wonderful, dynamic pastor, Lord, that have foreseen and have received the vision that you've given them to move this church forward, and we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you for the Lord members, Heavenly Father, God, who are willing to accept the vision and move forward, Lord, according to your word. We just thank you, God, and we just pray a blessing upon this ground, a blessing upon this building, a blessing upon these people, Heavenly Father, that they will always, your work will always be welcome here. And Heavenly Father, your word will always be done, spoken here, Heavenly Father, God. And then, Heavenly Father, God, you will always, your presence, will always be here, Lord God, in guiding us and leading us. And we just thank you, God, for everything. And we ask you, Heavenly Father, that we continue on. 148 years 
There's a lot, Lord, but we know that's only minutes according to you. And we know we, you have much more for us to do. And we just ask you, Lord, to give us the courage, give us the strength, give us the knowledge and the know-how to continue on in your word. And Heavenly Father, may you be glorified in all that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> So, Reverend, uh, <laughs> so how do you feel about the way things have gone today? Doc, I am excited ever since this morning. We've had a grand day. We had Reverend Roger Williams this morning from the Jehovah Jireh Ministry from Alexander City to be our guest this morning. He and I are old classmates from Selma University. He played basketball and I played baseball, and he used to travel with me when I preached. And now he's preaching a great, at a great church in Alexander City, and he came to be our guest minister this morning. So um, how does it feel to be this old? <laughs> oh, it's a wonderful feeling to me that this church has been around a long time. There's so much work, much more work for us to do, and we believe that the Lord got greater things for us to do. We're just now acquiring some more property in order to get some, do some more building and do some more things in the community. And uh, lastly, is there anything you'd like to say to our listeners? I want them to come and join us on Sunday morning and see the wood, um, dynamic worship service we have where lives are being changed every Sunday. Thank you so much. If I can get the moderator to come and make a quick comment, we sure would appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> well, let me get you in front of the camera also. Okay. Hold on. Pull, pull back. Reverend Dawson, what does what does an event like this mean um, as in your position as moderator? What does it mean for your denomination? Well, first of all, um, you know, it's good to have a church like Second Missionary Baptist Church in our district. And the work that they do and, and the things that they do, and definitely 140 years of existence is a good thing, one thing. But then when you get a marker for what you have done over that period of time, meaning that you have helped, and like I stated in my common sense inside it is good not just for the church but for the, our people what they have done is good for our people and we just appreciate that and it's good to have a second Baptist in our uh, district